everyone hello beautiful ladies hello star women of wisdom so good to see you on this video so today's topic on uh, what is it Tuesday transformational talks is about uh, listen to your heart and uh, take your head with you so how can you stop existing and start living again so for those who know me know that I am a really purpose-driven and heart-driven entrepreneur and uh, that's also how I want to live my life. So what I do is I guide female entrepreneurs to really start living from their heart and build a badass business around that. So if you're watching live, uh, say hello please in the, in the chat so I know uh, that you are here. I see someone is watching but I can't see who it is. Oh, it's Tanya. Hello, lovely queen. Tanya the Branding Queen. Guys, when you're watching this on replay, Tanya is one of the uh, founders of uh, the Queens in Business Club, where I'm also a proud founding member of. And uh, if you're a female entrepreneur looking for support when it comes to all the, uh, uh, yeah, how do I say it, Tanya? Like all the, all the things that you, basically all the things you need to, uh, to package and to uh, sell your business online. Go to, uh, go to our club and we're here to support you. So, um, uh, I see some more are coming on, so uh, welcome. I'm going to jump into today's message. A uh, very important message for me, re really, really, really close to my heart because we are talking about uh, living from your heart instead of your head and how you can let those two work together. Because, hey, Usha, hello, lovely. How are you? So good to see you here. Um, so again, today we're going to talk about listen to your heart and take your head with you. Uh, my name is Merita for the people who don't know me watching this on replay and I'm the founder of Global Stars and I call them Women of Wisdom. And STAR stands for She Triumphed Adversities and Rises. Isn't it for the lovely Tanya who came up with that beautiful, beautiful sentence. So thank you for that. If you are looking, if you're watching this video right now, you're probably a female entrepreneur or leader who feels a little bit stuck or maybe a lot stuck or unsatisfied, unfulfilled in your current life or business. It doesn't have to be like all your life or your whole business, but in certain areas of it. So you might feel uh, unfulfilled and satisfied and you don't really have people around you that understand to the fullest what you need right now. At the same time, you're open to learn, to, uh, to improve yourself and to be open for experience to, uh, to, to get more out of life than you're currently doing. So if that sounds like you, please stick around because I have some very valuable nuggets for you to share how you can uh, really stop, uh, uh, stop existing and start living again and um, live from a place where like really live from your heart and you take your head with you it's your advantage so how many of our females are not used to being like uh, we're overthinking a lot so we let our head guide us uh, that's not really like a um, a virtual place to, to live and to do business from so but first you might wonder who am i to tell you about this subject well let me tell you, I was one of those female entrepreneurs. I uh, started my own business when I was 23 years old, when I was still in university. And I still remember that I just let myself lead by my heart. And uh, my notes are gone now, so I have to do it from my head you see so I have to do it like this so I remember those days when I was starting to run my business where I went, went on the go and on the go like uh, from assignment to assignment from client to client but the only thing that uh, was fulfilling was my head like my head was really happy because I could do all those things here and I, I didn't have to pay attention here so for me that that didn't turn out to be like the, uh, the long-term strategy that worked for me so what did I do instead? I'm going to tell you in a bit. I'm going to start opening my notes again, even though I can do it without, but I don't want you to miss anything. So um, first of all, I want you to imagine a moment in your life or an area in your life or business right now where you feel like there's, a, there's unsatisfaction. Even if it's a little bit or a lot, it doesn't, doesn't really matter for now. So I want you to take that in your mind with you uh, from what, whatever I'm going to tell you from now on. So if you're struggling right now or you feel like you're unsatisfied uh, or maybe a little bit broken, let me tell you this, you are not. You, uh, uh, you're not broken, there's nothing wrong with you. And the only thing that you might need is some healing. And um, 
What I really learned to do um, is to put myself first. So um, I was in back in the days when I was really listening and functioning from my head, because that's how I always describe you, like in my, with my clients, it's like your functional self. So, um, and we're going to talk about the definitions, the difference of, of head and heart in a bit. So if you recognize yourself and you want to be more fulfilled in life, so let me explain some simple steps that you can follow. But first of all, we are going to talk about like the definition. So what is the definition of uh, living by your living with your head? Maybe anyone, uh, uh, any of you ladies that are watching live, uh, can you um, put in the chat box if you recognize, put one in the chat box if you recognize living by your head, like letting your head take over. And I know you are you girls are personally, so I know the answer is probably going to be yes, that you recognize that. So the definition of, of living and, and um, uh, doing business from your head, thank you, Isha, for being honest, <laughs> is I define it as logical thoughts based on the information you gathered up until then. So I'm going to repeat that. So living by your head, letting your head guide you is logical thoughts based on the information that you gathered so far. So your head tends to speak in a language of scarcity with you because your brain doesn't like growth, doesn't like change. So uh, it's here to keep you safe or to protect you. Um, but we are, I'm going to explain in a bit why, uh, why it's not really protecting you, why it's actually holding you back. So the definition of intuition for me um, uh, and maybe ladies you can uh, you can you can enrich that because I really believe that everything is very personal for everyone so for me intuition is like a feeling of an, a deep knowing a deep understanding a deep feeling almost forecasting and anticipating on some events that are about to happen and for my experience like my definition of the of oh, sorry the intuition comes from uh, a place of love and it talks to you from a language of love and the language um, the difference in language is so your head is talking from a language of scarcity and your heart from a language of love can you please confirm me girls that uh, ladies that that you are uh, following this because it's really important for what I'm going to say next and um, I want you to really think about this. The language that you choose determines the outcome. And we're going to do a practice of this. So the language you choose determines your outcome. So for example, I'll, I want you to uh, ask yourself a question just in your own head. You don't have to do it out loud. You don't have to share it, but just in your head. Where in my life do I feel I'm not happy? And I know I have to make some decisions. Tanya, my goosebumps give you a confirmation on my intuition. That's correct. Like my, the people that I work with do recognize this is that in sessions, I, I say a lot like, oh my gosh, goosebumps, because for me, that's a confirmation of my intuition. So that is like the connection I have with, with, with a higher intelligence. Um, so back to the question, I want you to ask yourself right now, where in my life am I not happy? And I know I have to make some decisions. So everyone has it. Now, I want you to challenge. I want to challenge you. So we're going to do two things. The first thing we're going to do is you have that situation. And I want you to imagine approaching this only with your head. So only from a place of your mind. So uh, write down what comes to your mind. And for the people who are live, I'm going to give you a little bit time to do that because it's, uh, it's very powerful to do it like, like now. Um, so the question was, where in my life do I feel I'm not happy and know I have to make some decisions? So maybe you write down relationship, personal relationship, uh, business partner, uh, finances, uh, future, whatever comes to your mind. And I want you to imagine approaching this from your head. So write down what comes to your mind. And I'm very curious what comes out of it. So if you've not entirely finished it yet, you can watch it on replay and uh, do it again. 
Um, and I want you for the same questions, for the, so for the same thing you wrote down, I want you to imagine this approaching only from your heart and write down, write down what comes from your soul, what comes to your soul. So if you see this topic and you would approach it from a place of your heart, what would you write down? So if you approach it from a place of love, what would you write down? So do you notice the difference? Even talking about it gives another energy to it. Like the words where we're talking about, like the head gives a different energy for me, at least. <laughs> um, so probably what you experienced is when you, was, when you were writing that down, when you were writing down from your head, you, f you, you, you might have noticed that you are um, restricted and limited because you can only write down what you gathered so far. So, and I, this might be a little bit complicated, but uh, I, I hope everyone can follow and otherwise watch it back or ask me questions later. Um, so the patterns you are so used to do to run in, in situations like this are the patterns that just came to the surface. So those patterns are like very flat and one dimensional. So there's no, there will never be, be room for uh, space for growth. Um, Usha, the, the, oh, the one thing that was impacting negative, negative, oh, this, this word is so hard, on me was to work full time as it was too demanding in combination with looking after a baby. So I reduced my hours, but still need to reduce more hours so I can have more time on my dreams and my family. Yeah, so, so what you're saying is like um, the, the situation was like uh, you want to reduce your hours to spend more time with your family. So you're approaching it from a place of your head. So um, what do I mean by that? It's like when you approach it from a place of heart, like how do you want to um, uh, spend the time that you have with your family? Is it is it always related to hours or is it what you do in those hours? So I want to challenge you to think of it from a place from your heart and use your head with you. So maybe you you find out that, that it's not the hours that are the problem. It's like how you, um, how you, you schedule your hours, for example. Yeah, so uh, if you want to have more quality time with your kids, for example, let's say you want to have more time with them in the mornings. Uh, because in the mornings you feel like you want to be there when they wake up. and So that's really from a place of, of your heart. You want to be there. So um, if, you, like, if you restrict yourself saying, okay, I have this hour, these hours and, and these are the hours I need. So I, I, was, I would say, how, how do you know? Does that make sense, Usha? So... Instead, when you focus on the heart, you probably noticed when you start writing it down. And Usha, I want to, to, to challenge you to do that as well. And if you need any help, let me know. So what you probably notice when you start doing that is that you uh, start dreaming. You start to feel and see opportunities. And most importantly, you are creating a way to what you really want, what you really desire, because your head doesn't know, your heart knows. So, and oh, I get goosebumps now. <laughs> I know, Tanya, you're laughing really hard right now, but it's really true. Um, I'm not saying it's easy, because you, when you're listening to this message, you are here because you want to improve some areas of your life. And uh, maybe right now there, there's not much, much clarity on the situation or you don't really see like how, how can I get out of it. But I, I'll give you a tip on this in a bit. But I want you to know that it's a process. It's like a, um, a way of changing the language that you use and, the way, and changing the, the source that you listen to. So your intuition is your best friend. I call her she. So she needs your attention and she works with your head uh, and, and let's call it your functional self. And she knows that she needs this one to manifest because your head is really good in achieving and in manifesting. So everything that you create here, your head can help you achieve. So when I say uh, live from a place of heart and take your head with you, that's what I mean. So I see many entrepreneurs and leaders with a strong focus on their head. And yes, they have amazing titles 
and yes they have amazing cars and yes they might even have like a big fat bank account okay so but imagine this those people work every day day in day out from a place of head so their satisfaction level is zero uh, because it's only su um, uh, superficial satisfaction so what do you think in a couple of years from now will happen to those people do you really think that they can keep up working uh, from this place every hour every week i don't think so most people believe that working for money gives them the satisfaction and i am here to disagree like i really believe the opposite don't get me wrong i like money and i know i like uh, we like we ha we like it we need it in order for us to create the impact that we want um but whatever you focus on you will achieve so when you are feeling unsatisfied right now in a certain area of your life listen to that it means that you need something else than what you are currently having and successful soul entrepreneurs they believe that money is an outcome of uh, a deeper inner belief a fire from that heart like like living by your purpose and the, and know that the money will follow because that will always be true and i know my mom is watching right now hi mom that's so sweet she just jumps on the live so how i'm going to help you so like how are you going to check this for yourself in every situation so how are you going to check to see if you are working or um, uh, living from your head or from your heart? And I, I just formulated a really easy question for you to ask every time you have a doubt on that. Ask yourself this, am I making my head happy or am I making my heart happy right now? So I'll repeat that. Am I making my head happy or am I making my heart happy? And just know this, it's always okay to switch from your head to your heart. It might have an impact on your life, but that's why we're here to help you. And finally, I want you to remember, whenever you feel overwhelmed or confused, the more silent you are, the more you can hear. So ladies, that was it for today. Um, I hope it all made sense. Let me know uh, in the comments or uh, reach out to me on, uh, on Messenger if you have any questions uh, around this or you need any help with this. And thank you for listening and um, uh, stay tuned for Thursday. We have the transformational truth on, on Thursday. And uh, I am going to do that from probably from my bed because I have uh, some investigations, health investigations tomorrow that I'm going to talk to you about on Thursday because I really feel that it's worth to talk about all the things that we can, uh, we go through as a women. So as a female entrepreneur, it's not always a good time. Sometimes we face challenges and uh, I want you to, uh, to, to see those as well and um, to talk to you about it more. So thank you, Tanya, totally makes sense. Usha, totally agree. Thank you so much, ladies, and have a really good day. Bye-bye.